Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the epic battle, a showdown between light and sound. Which one of these two forms of wave energy will outrun the other? Today you watch and you decide which one is the winner. So, here's my plan. First of all, I build myself a device that's got a loud horn and a bright light. I make sure that both of these are triggered by a single switch so they will turn on at the same time. Next I find myself a long stretch of road. I set up at one end with my camera. Then the device, mounted to the back of a vehicle, will be moved in 100 meter increments farther and farther away from my observational position. As I watch and as I listen, I should be able to determine does the light or the sound arrive first. The farther away the device is, the easier it should be to make this decision. Let's go! Beautiful evening in the country. Got myself a nice long dirt road. We're set up, ready to go. Let's give it a quick test. All right, taking this thing out to 100 meters. What's gonna happen? Oh man, that was tough. That was tough. I'm saying too close to call. Let's try 200 meters. I think I saw a winner. I think I saw a winner. I think I did, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna wait till 300 for my for my final call here. Oh, definitely, definitely. I'm saying light by almost a second at 300 meters, but let's take it out farther. Let's go farther and see see what we see. All right, 400 meters. No contest. No contest whatsoever. Light all the way. All right, here we go, 500 meters. 500 meters. The light was like turned off before I heard the sound. Okay, you're gonna take it all the way out to 800 meters. This was the farthest we could go before going out of sight. Oh man, that is epic. That is epic. Light all the way. So let's take a minute and talk about the science behind this experiment. First of all, light. Light is an electromagnetic wave which travels at a speed of almost 300 million meters per second. That's right, that's fast. Light could go around planet Earth seven and a half times in one second. Light also has the unique ability to travel through the emptiness of space. That's really key because without it, well, life on planet Earth would cease to exist. Sound, on the other hand, is what's called a mechanical wave. It requires a medium or something to travel through. In the case of our experiment, the medium was the air. And in air, sound travels at about 331 meters per second. How long would it take sound to get around planet Earth at that speed? Well, about 33 hours. Yeah, more than a day. It's actually kind of slow. Now, we said that sound as a mechanical wave requires a medium. The medium doesn't have to be air. The medium could be a liquid. You might have heard sound when underwater in a pool. Or a solid. If I tap on this wall, sound will travel through those bricks. In fact, even the characteristics of a particular medium can affect the speed of sound. So, for instance, on a really warm day, sound will travel at a different speed than on a really cold day. But anyway you slice it, 
a little faster, a little slower. The speed of sound is an absolute snail compared to the speed of light. Even at short distances like what we measured, we were able to find a clear winner. And the trophy goes to light. Have a great day and as always, stay curious my friends. <laughs>